All right, so what is going on everyone? Swan here, and today we're back on some MLB The Show, and as you can tell, we're at 894, the rating. Uh, the season ends, I believe, in like three days. It, it ends on Monday, and so yes, yeah, January 15th, and we just need one more win to get to uh, the World Series Division so we can get the show's finest pack plus all the two diamonds and the hardware pack and we can do that pack opening on Monday. So that's huge or maybe we'll get the rewards on Tuesday probably. But uh, regardless, I want to get these rewards really badly and we're so close to it. I think we've lost like two games. Hold on, let me check just this current season. We're 15 and three. Okay, we're 15 and three. So solid season, not as good as last season, but uh, it's still pretty, pretty good. And I'm actually making a couple lineup switches because it was getting a little stagnant. I was using the same players and it just, I don't know, it, it I, I feel like I need to switch it up more because I have uploaded so many videos using such a similar lineup So anyways, we're gonna search for a game and Try and beat someone and get into the World Series division new Kendrick actually new like TDE technically with J rock future and James Blake So crazy all right uh, one quick change that I'm just gonna show you I put in Juan Maricol I think that's how you say it uh, because I got him recently like a well, it was like a a month ago but I haven't really tried him and I'm hoping to get him maybe and we put Stanton in the two spot I'm not gonna use Brooks Robinson as a starter this game put in gonna put in Eddie Matthews and I'm just gonna see if I can try switching it up we're gonna put Griffey at the end of the lineup which is kind of weird but uh, yeah let's just see what we can do Stanton's in his two hole yeah he got 99 power versus righties and lefties. We still got Casey Swan out there. Moved him to left field. Looks like we got Vita Blue pitching. I gotta turn this volume down real quick. And he's got uh, Jose Ramirez, Jimmy Rollins, Manny Ramirez. That's hilarious. Chipper Jones, Ben Zobris, Beltron, Victor Martinez, Kendris Morales, and then Felix Hernandez on the mound. So we're playing at my park. And I didn't really show you what park I chose, but we were playing at Target Field and we put it to raining. I don't know why, I just wanted to do it. And he's 43 and 34. He's played a lot more games this season than I have. We got the NYC BX Dr. Pros, I think that's what it said. And we're gonna see what we can do. Let's let's start off Jose Ramirez with a nice inside fastball. Perfect pitch. 96 over there. Let's go a little outside. Change up, good pitch, got him early on it. Come on, Vita, there we go. Out number one, quick out, real quick. I love that outside change up because I get people early on it so many times and they just swing over it and chop it down. So we're gonna try that again. We almost got him again. Uh, Jimmy Rollins is up. I really, I, I wanna try this card so bad. Um, but I have the Roberto Alomar card, and it's so similar, but better, in my opinion. And that's going to be a pop-out to Bagwell. But yeah, I don't see a reason to getting Alomar, or Jimmy Rollins at this point, because uh, my team is already so good. And it looks like Manny Ramirez is up. I really hope they have him as just a righty, because they would just kind of defeat the purpose of naming him. Uh, hey, Manny Ramirez if they're gonna make him a switch hitter, but I don't know regardless he got a hit off me Manny Ramirez. I, I wish they had a Manny Ramirez card in the game like actually in the game Wow, that was a great pitch. Oh shoot. I didn't notice that he was stealing But yeah, Manny Ramirez is one of the guys that I feel like would be so fun to actually have in the game Nice curveball right there. Let's see if we can get a little curveball inside. He's it looks. Oh shoot Okay, we got it. We got him uh, to chop down on it. Let's go a little change up. His change up's filthy and we got him swinging over it. Dude, his change up's so good. That's like, I, I think his number one pitch. It's literally so good. And now we got Casey Swan up to bat and let's see if we can start off good. I usually hit Felix Hernandez pretty well. That sweeping curve is absolutely nasty. He's got a, he's got a 25 and 28 record, so not that great. A 3-1-3 ERA. 3.13 so he does usually give up a few runs it looks like and let's see if we can that was I don't know about that call 
But that high sinker got me right there. I still got Casey Swan hitting lead off. And he's going to throw a changeup down low. An 89 mile an hour changeup. I don't think he throws hard enough to to put an 89 mile an hour changeup on there. And that, that might be out of here. That's going to be a home run. Lead off home run for Casey Swan. That is ridiculous. That's such a good way to start the game. He did 107 off the bat. Now we got Stanton up. And Stanton's going to drill it down the line. And that's going to be a double if he can get there. He's probably going to have a good arm. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, he's still got a base hit. I should have held him to one. Uh, I think in an actual game, no matter what, he would have gotten to second right there. That's why I sent him. But that was kind of ridiculous. Now we got Joe Maurer, and he's going to hit me. He's rattled. He's rattled already right off the bat. Now we got Jeff Bagwell up. Let's see if he throws an inside sinker or something. And he is, but that's not going to be... That's not going to be the pitch. It looks like... It looks like the wind is carrying out a decent amount because I didn't think I hit that ball that well and it carried pretty far. So I'm going to have to take a look at the flags and kind of see how far or where the wind is actually going. There's another sinker that kind of was in a similar spot to the home run. Probably could have hit that the other way. But now let's see what Alomar can do. He's going to throw a low slider, 84 miles an hour. And now he's going to go, I bet he's going curveball or sinker. Curveball or sinker. He's going sinker. He's going with that up sinker. The up sinker. The high sinker. And that, it just barely caught the zone somehow. And now it's a one and two count with two outs. And he's going to throw a low sinker that time. That almost got me. But I was ready for it. And now, still one and two. Let's see if we can get something out of this. That's not going to do anything. Please drop. Please drop. All right, that's going to be the end of that inning. We're up 1-0. We probably could have gotten further into that inning if I didn't make that uh, running error with Stanton. But regardless, let's see what we can do now against Beltran. Got him, dude. I did not expect that to, to get by him somehow. But I'll take it. Now we got Zobrist up. He hits lefties better than righties. Got him with the fastball. The high inside heat. Threw a 97. Blew it right by him. Love to see it. That's like my third strikeout already somehow. And we're just on a groove right now. We are just on a roll. That was a nice little low fastball in there. Really high curveball. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's go a little two seam up high. See if, oh geez, we're hitting our spots. We got him to swing through that one also. Now let's see if we can go low inside fastball. Ooh, that's not a good pitch. That's not gonna get him. Let's go, let's go outside change up. Get him out in front of it. I think we can have him right here if we throw a good pitch. That's not the best pitch, so that's not gonna get him. But let's go, let's go back into that low in fastball. It's such a tough hard pitch to hit. And we got him. Did we just strike out the side? I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, that's a huge inning. Now we got Eddie Matthews up. I rarely use this card because I usually just pinch hit with him. And I need to start using this card more because I have like over 400 batting average with him. I think it was 444 the last time I checked. And now we can just we can just use him a full game. And it's 2 and out count, so that's kind of that's nice to see. And that's going to be a base hit for Eddie Matthews, dude. I hit so well with this card. I don't hit a lot of home runs, even though he has a lot of power. Dang, that's going to be a double play. And that's going to be a gapper. That's almost going to hit the wall. That hits the warning track. Kind of got a deep left center field, but we're going to have to hold Griffey at second. His helmet came off right there sliding. Now we got Vita. And Vita is going to pop out. Figured. Got him again! I think that's five strikeouts in a row. They, I, I think the announcer just said he has four straight punch outs before I struck that guy out. So that's huge. And now we got Felix Hernandez up, which could be potentially another strikeout, but no, he's going to get a base hit. Are you kidding me? Come on, get on the base. Get on the base. What are you doing? I easily could have had him. And we strike him out. Catch him in a rundown, get it there, and that's a double play, that's huge. Strikeout, double play, what is that, fifth or sixth strikeout? Sorry, I, keep, I just lost count. Uh, that wasn't supposed to be a brag either, I just, I, I just forgot. But 
Uh, one nothing, and we're back to hitting. And that's gonna be a base hit from from Casey Swan. He's got a he's got a home run and a single. So we're heading towards the cycle. I just checked my average with Stan, and I have a 667 average with him. And that's gonna be probably caught. And it is. Shoot, I shouldn't have swung at that. I got jammed. And Mauer's gonna sting one, not quite into the gap, but I'm gonna send him. Oh, I'm gonna send him. He took a while to get that in. That's a nice score from first off of a single from Joe Mauer. That's huge. That's that's some nice base running right there from from my created player. Now we got Bagwell up. Bagwell. Is that going to get out? Keep going. No way. That thing carried, but it didn't quite get there. Warning track power right up against the fence. Ah, drilled it. Right at the second baseman. Right at, I think Zobris is playing second. Oh my. What a missile. And that's going to end the inning. And Eddie Matthews, dude, hits a double down the line if he can get to second. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got that easy. Jesus, dude, he's such a good hitter. And now we got Cal. And that's going to be a base hit. Not going to send the runner. I am going to send him. Oh, I should have sent, sent him to second. Actually, no. He got that pretty quick. But anyways, no outs. Runner's on first and third. And he's already subbing out for Zach Britton. All right, Suicide Squeeze coming in. Suicide Squeeze. Let's try it. Let's do it. And it's a beautiful squeeze. There we go. And he still tries to go for it. And Vite is going to get to first. Let's go. That's all I could do. Griffey popped out. So I was just like, all right, there's only one out. We got to do this. And now we got Casey Swan. And he drills it down the line. And Vite is going to get to third. And Casey's going to get to second. And we're gonna hold them there. And that's another huge hit. One out still, because they couldn't get the out on the on the bunt from Vita. And now we got Stanton. He's gonna hit Stanton. I have a feeling this guy's gonna quit pretty quick because he's just frustrated, I can tell. Now we got Joe Mauer up. And Joe is gonna What are you doing, Vita? Get back. But it was four fifths down the line. Come on. Let me get a nice hit. He's gonna hit Bagwell and walk another guy in. We got Alomar up now. He's really struggling out here. He's quick pitching for some reason. There's a good pitch. There's finally a good pitch. He has no confidence right now. Zach Britton has no confidence. And he's gonna make me pop up. No way. I screwed that up real bad, but at least we got five runs now. I think it's five, not four, right? We got five? We do have five. So that's a huge inning right there. And Vita is hot right now. He's hot. Oh, shoot. Stay in the ballpark. All right, I'll take that. Get it into second. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that just, whatever. I screwed that up. Not a, not a great pitch. Left that up. And that's a nice play, a nice pitch. And that's another huge play. And that's going to be the third out. Kendris has got some real slow speed, and that's huge. Still throwing a shutout. He, they got three hits. I've got nine. Let's go. And another hit from Eddie Matthews, dude. This is crazy. No, that's going to be a double play, dude. What are you doing, Cal? Got Jackie looking. Wow, he pinched hit for his pitcher. And I just made him pay, I guess. That was beast. And that's that's got to be an out. There we go. Alomar, such a great fielder. He's got the speed. Gets over to the ball. And that's a quick, quick two outs. Oh, we got him! He's been stealing all game, and my first pickoff move picked him off. Crazy. Absolutely crazy.
and he's pitching with Jackie Robinson for some reason and Vita is gonna put a drive into that ball but he's not gonna get anything and if I remember correctly he does he has a home run triple and or home run double and single all we need is a triple and I don't know why he has Jackie Robinson still in but this is this could be key this could be key why am I swinging at that did I get called for a strike I did wow that is embarrassing but let's see what we can do right here that's got to be gone well there's another home run from uh, Casey Swan He's four for four, and that's huge. Now we got Stanton up. He's just, uh, he just gave up, I think. Come on, we gotta get a hit with Stanton. He's gonna throw a low change up. And Stanton, that's, that's gone. That is deep, off the batter's eye. Wow, 430 or something? 433. And they put in Kelvin Herrera, but uh, Joe Mauer's going to get a nice little double there. Slides in perfectly. Great slide. That's huge. Bagwell. Another just pretty deep fly ball, but it is going to advance the runner to third. Is that going to drop? That's going to be a little bloop RBI for... Uh, Roberto Alomar. And another base hit. Oh my lord, I think Eddie Matthews is 4 for 4. That's crazy. Alright, my camera turned off. I screwed up a little bit. Because uh, every time it records for like 30 minutes straight, it shuts off automatically. But, we're back. And there's going to be a strikeout again. Wow. Oh my, Vita's just mowing through these guys. No way, dude. Beltran's like one of the few guys that can actually hit Vita. And I just don't know how to pitch him. And there's a pop out to end the inning. And we still have a shutout going. What? Oh my. Let's go, Eddie. Haha. <laughs> Great fielder, too. Oh my god, dude. That, oh, that curveball is so nasty. I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting all my spots right now. And a five pitch walk to Mauer. Oh my, that's going to score a run. That's, that's crazy. And, oh, game called due to mercy rule. I scored the final run off a pass ball. Casey Swan goes four for five with two home runs, a double, and a single. Yeah. Eddie Matthews, four for five. I'm pretty sure he was four for four. It just said he was four for four. Uh, that's kind of weird. But maybe they count, They counted that last at bat, I think. That's ridiculous. Um, Swan, double, bunch of doubles. Two home runs for Swan, one home run for Stanton. Vita Blue, nine strikeouts and only five hits, no earned runs. That is huge. But anyways, hold on. We gotta, We got to actually check if we... If we got to the World Series division. Player of the game, Casey Swan. I love this lineup change, but anyways, five or ten nothing. Uh no errors in the game. That's pretty good. Uh, that's that's extremely rare to see in an MLB the show game. But let's check. Anyways, I got ten rating and I got to 904, which puts me in the World Series division. So I am good now. We got a bunch of silvers right there. Glenn Perkins is one of them. 96,000 stubs right now. 904 rating. That's huge. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe here if you are new. And as always, I hope you're all having a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.